What if the person who made everyone laugh slowly began forgetting the punchlines? This video is personal. My father-in-law, Don Harris, wasn't just a father figure. He was the life of the party, the center of every family gathering, the guy who made work fun and who somehow made everyone feel better just by being in the room. But when dementia entered the picture, everything changed. If you've ever seen someone fade in front of you, piece by piece, you know how painful and confusing it is. In this video, I'm going to share the 10 early warning signs of dementia, explain why they happen, and most importantly, what you can do to protect your brain. And stick around because at the end, I'll share a link to a powerful clip of Don himself, a man whose voice and memory still echo in our hearts. He may no longer be here with us physically, but I believe Don's spirit is still very much alive, lifting us up with that same humor, warmth, and presence he shared so generously. This image of Don, that's how I picture him now, rocking that Chicago Bulls hat, wings and all, probably cracking a joke with the angels and making heaven a little louder and a whole lot more joyful. We miss him deeply, but we carry him with us in every laugh, every family moment, and every lesson he left behind. Now let's talk dementia. This isn't just a list of symptoms. This is about understanding what's happening in the brain so you can take action early for yourself or someone you love. So let's dive into the 10 warning signs of dementia and why they matter. Number one, memory loss that disrupts daily life. Forgetfulness happens, but when your loved one forgets names they've known for decades or repeats the same story five times in 20 minutes, it's different. Mechanism, damage to the hippocampus, the brain's memory center, often due to insulin resistance and inflammation which begins to erode long-term memory. Number two, difficulty planning or solving problems. Struggling to follow a recipe they've used forever. Losing track of bills. Missing appointments. Why? Because the frontal lobe responsible for executive function becomes impaired as neurons struggle to excess energy, especially when glucose is mismanaged. Number three, confusion with time or place. They may think it's morning when it's evening or forget how they got somewhere. This reflects degeneration in the brain's default mode network, which helps us navigate time, space, and memory. Number four, trouble understanding visual images and spatial relationships. Driving becomes risky. Reading is harder. They misjudge distances. This is linked to damage in the occipital and parietal lobes again, often due to oxidative stress and poor metabolic fuel. Number five, new problems with words and speaking or writing. Don Harris used to recite poems flawlessly. His dementia progressed and then words didn't come as easily. Aphasia results when connections in the temporal lobe deteriorate, often early in Alzheimer's type dementia. Number six, misplacing things and losing the ability to retrace steps. Keys in the fridge, remote in the pantry. We all do this once in a while, but this becomes constant. This reflects hippocampal damage plus frontal lobe impairment, critical areas for spatial memory and logic. Number seven, poor judgment or decision making, giving large sums of money to scammers, dressing inappropriately for the weather. Why? The prefrontal cortex, which governs judgment, is one of the first regions to decline when the brain is under chronic metabolic stress. Number eight, withdrawal from work or social activities. The life of the party starts skipping family gatherings, often mistaken for depression. This can stem from fear, confusion, or difficulty keeping up with conversations. Number nine, changes in mood and personality. Don didn't lose his spark, but he wasn't the same. He became more easily frustrated. This is tied to limbic system changes, especially in the amygdala, and the anterior cingulate cortex, which regulate emotions. Number 10, repetitive behaviors or fixation on routines. As cognitive flexibility fades, they cling to routines or repeat actions, sometimes for hours. This is the brain's way of finding comfort in things that are familiar 
when everything else becomes harder to process. Now, before I continue, if this is resonating with you, please give this video a like and subscribe. It helps us spread awareness and reach more families navigating dementia. It also lets YouTube know this is content worth sharing. Now, I know these symptoms can be a little bit of a downer, but here's the good news. Dementia isn't guaranteed, and there's real hope in prevention. Diet matters a lot. Chronic high blood sugar and insulin resistance damage the brain meaning we literally call dementia type 3 diabetes. That's why the ketogenic and carnivore diets are being studied more than ever for cognitive protection. Dr. Georgia E. calls it out clearly in her work, Change Your Diet, Change Your Mind. And Dr. Chris Palmer's groundbreaking book, Brain Energy, explains how mitochondrial dysfunction is the root to many brain disorders, including dementia. So what can you do today? Reduce sugar and processed carbs. Prioritize nutrient-dense foods like meat, fish, eggs, and healthy fats. Protect your sleep. Stay socially engaged. Keep moving, especially outdoors. Challenge your brain. Learn, read, recite. You're not powerless. You can change your brain's fuel and change your brain's future. When Don Harris came to live with us, I got to see the man behind the myth. He'd sing those old country tunes from his days on the road as a truck driver. He'd recite poems with perfect rhythm, even in the midst of dementia. Pieces of his brilliance would shine through. And that's the thing about dementia. You don't lose everything, but you lose enough to know something's been taken. Don's legacy lives on, and I hope you enjoyed hearing about Don. And if this video helped just one family delay or prevent that same path, then we've done our job. Do me a favor and click the video on the screen if you want to watch the man who sung those old country songs as we sing a few together. A moment that means the world to me. And don't forget to check the description and playlist for more videos that can help you and your family achieve metabolic health and protect your brain. Share your story in the comments. Rather, it's about a loved one with dementia or your own journey to better brain health. Thank you for watching. Honor their memory. Protect your mind and let's keep learning together.